how are you able to find work-life balance? Is there advice you can give, maybe even outside of yourself? Have you been able to arrive at any wisdom on this part in your so years of life? I do I think that there's a wide range of people where different people have different needs. It's not a one-size-fits-all. I am certainly what works for me. I, I can tell enough that I'm, you know, I'm different than a typical average person in the way things impact me, the, you know, the things that I want to do, uh, my goals are different and sort of the the levers to impact things are different where you know, I have literally never felt burnout and I know there's lots of brilliant smart people that that do world leading work that get burned out and it's never hit me. I you know, I've never been at a point where I'm like I'm I just don't care about this. I don't want to do this anymore. But I've always had the flexibility to work on lots of interesting things. You know, I can always just turn my gaze to something else and have a great time working on that. And so much of that, so much of the ability to actually work hard is the ability to have multiple things to choose from and to use use your time on the most appropriate thing. Like there are there are time periods where I am it's the best time for me to read a new research paper that I need to really be thinking you know, hard about it. Then there's a time that maybe I should just scan and organize my old notes because my, you know, I'm just not on top of things. And then there's the time that, all right, let's go you know, bang out a few hundred lines of code for something. So switching between them has been you know, real valuable. So you always have kind of joy in your heart for all the things you're doing and that that is a kind of work-life balance as a first sort of step. Yeah, I do. So you're always I, happy. I do. I, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, and while, happy, Yeah, you know. I mean, that's like, I. a lot of people would say that often I look like kind of a grim person, you yeah. know, with just sitting there with a, a neutral expression or even like knitted brows and a frown on my face as I'm staring at something. That's what but happiness looks like for you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of true where that, yeah. that it's like, okay, I'm pushing through this. I'm making progress here. I am... You know, we, I know that doesn't work for everyone. I know it doesn't work for most people. I am, but what I am always trying to do in those cases is I don't want to let somebody that might be a person like that be told by someone else that no, don't try, don't even try that out as an option. Where I, you know, work life val balance versus kind of your life's work, where there is a small subset of the people that can be very happy being obsessive about things, and you know, obsession can often get things done that just practical, prudent, pedestrian work won't, or at least won't for a very long time. 